This is Eugene Henriklisch on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo ThinkPad X120E laptop computer, or it's almost a netbook computer. It's a small computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Lenovo ThinkPad X120E laptop. Okay, before we do anything with this or any other laptop, we want to remove the battery. And the way we do that is flip the laptop over, slide the two levers on both sides of the battery in, and then slide the battery out and take it out. Now that the battery out is out, it's safe for the laptop, it's safe to work on the laptop. As with most laptops, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, to get to the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove two screws at the bottom, and these two screws are hiding behind some plastic covers. So we'll have to remove the plastic covers first. Before we get going, we're going to show you the tools we're going to use. We had a set of three electronics screwdrivers. First, a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for size. This is the one that we'll use most of the time. We also have a PH00 screwdriver, and that's for smaller screws. We may or may not use it. And we have a flathead screwdriver with a 2 millimeter flathead, and most likely we will not use this screwdriver for this laptop. We also have a pair of metal tweezers, so that's to remove any screws that are stuck, and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove plastic screw covers. So let's get started. We're going to remove the plastic screw covers first, and once I remove them, I like to put them right next to the screw opening so I don't lose them. There's one. and. And there's two, and I'm going to put this one next to the screw opening also. If I can grab a hold of it, okay. Next, we're going to remove the two screws, and we're going to use the PH1 screwdriver. So one and two. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile and put the piles in the order in which I remove them to make assembly of the laptop easier so I know which screws go where. Once I remove the screws, we need to snap off the screen bezel, and what I like to do for that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up and listen for snapping sounds. So if you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. The bezel is coming off. So just work your way around the screen. If you get stuck at a point, just go to a different place and snap all the way around and, and come back to the places where you get stuck in later. Okay, so this one was very easy to remove. Sometimes it won't be so easy. And we'll put it to the side. All right, for uh, this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets that are on the side. And we need to get to the screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets on the side. And uh, for each laptop, it's kind of a discovery process. We remove some screws and see if we can tilt the screen forward and get to the screws on the side. If not, we'll either loosen some more screws or remove some more screws until we finally get there. Okay, for this one, first thing is we're going to do is remove the screws that are top of the metal mounting brackets. One and two, like so, and try to lift up the try to lift up the brackets. And with this way, we can get to the screws at the top but not quite at the bottom. So there's a screw at the bottom here that we need to get to. We can't quite get to it. And there's should be a screw at the bottom here too, but I don't see it. So 
we'll find out. Oh, I see it. It's right there. So we need to get to this group. So the next trick we're going to try is to loosen up these sets of two screws on each side. See if we can touch the screen assembly forward a little bit more. So I usually don't want to remove these screws because the back lid will pop down then. We don't want to do that. And I loosen these just enough so I can reach the two screws at the side. And so we use our same screwdriver to remove the screws on each side. One. And once again, start a separate pile. Two. And three. And four. Okay, now you noticed as soon as I removed the fourth screw, the screen kind of fell backwards. So you want to have the whole screen assembly tilt the backward because we wouldn't want it to fall forward. There might be some cables that will take with it and we don't want to risk damaging it. Okay, next thing is we want to gently tilt the whole screen forward and we see that there's a video cable getting stuck there and it has some adhesive tape so we have not video cable, webcam cable. So we have one of two choices, either to remove the webcam connector to take the whole cable with us or to remove the adhesive on the back. So this one, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife kind of to lift up the tape on the back. Hope I'm going to have a good angle. Oh, there. And we're going to do that from the other side also. Okay, once we lift up this tape, we can put the screen down. Okay, and there's some adhesive here that we need to lift up. Okay, like so. Alright, now the screen is loose enough that the screen rests on the bottom. Now, if I were to do it over again, I think I would remove the webcam connector, which I'll do now. And we use our exacto knife to gently pry it out and put it down. So we'll put it down here. All right, so once we do that, we see the screen and there's only one connector to the screen. It's an LED screen. And we need to remove this connector. So what we do is we lift up the adhesive tape either with the exacto knife or use our fingernails. Most of the time I use my fingernails, but this time it's exacto knife is a little bit more convenient. So lift up the adhesive tape like so. And there's sometimes adhesive on the back of the video cable. So in this case there's not, so we just slide the connector out like so. Now before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector on this screen because that's the biggest source of trouble that I see. So when you can reconnect it, you slide it back in and make sure that you'll feel, you won't hear, but you'll feel two clicks. And let's get a close up of what it's supposed to look like. See if we can get a good focus. All right. All right, that's as good as it's going to get. All right, this is what a properly connected connection looks like. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. That's the most important thing, that there's no gap in the seam. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks exactly the same. This is when you have a good connection. All right, so next. Next, we remove the connector again, and we'll take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch LED screen. Uh, let's see if we can get a good focus on the part number. The part number is LP116WH1. 
LP116WH1, and the letters after were TLP1, it's not as important. So what's important is LP116WH1. Okay, the other thing to notice is, as with most uh, Lenovo ThinkPad laptops, the screen has a matte finish. It's more of a frosted finish than most of the other screens. The other type of finish is the glossy finish. Now, most likely when you order a replacement screen, even from us, is you'll get a glossy finish. So if you insist on the same type of matte finish, you have to make sure that's what is specified when you order the screen. Okay, uh, for this 11.6 inch screen, it's not as common as many other screens, so make sure you're getting this one. The more common type is the 11.6 inch slim screen, which has the mounting tabs on the top or on the sides, actually on the top. So make sure you're not getting the slim screen, make sure you're getting this regular screen. In the photo of it looks similar to this one. And, um, we at Screen Surgeons do have this particular screen in stock. Ours will be glossy, not matte, but we do have it in stock. And uh, to order from us, you go to screensurgeons.com, click on buy a screen, then there will be a short form for you to fill out. So we just need your email address and the laptop model, and we'll reply by email with the link to the right screen to buy online. So what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship is not compatible, we'll ship you the compatible one at no charge. We also have free email technical support when you do the installation. And we also ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, we can most likely ship it to your country. And finally, we have a two-year warranty on the screen itself. Okay, so once you do get your screen in, uh, the connector should be here. Most likely it will not be the exact same part number, but the screen will look exactly the same. So you put the screen in, put the connector in as I showed you, and then reattach the webcam cable. Then mount the screen on the middle mounting brackets, and tight, make sure you tighten the screws on the bottom afterward, because if you forget, that might wear out the hinges. Snap the bezel back on and then put the two screws in at the bottom with the plastic covers and you should be ready to go. Okay, uh, that's it. Now, one more thing before I forget. We also sell this toolkit that's specifically picked out to replace laptop screens. And you can also order it from us when you order the screen. There will be a link to it when you order the screen. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrickrich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.